Hello, my name is Ross Stevens, and today I'll be talking about bladder neck obstruction and how urodynamic parameters can change with time if this is left untreated. I was part of a team including Sachin Maude, Claire Taylor, Aaron Sahai, and Skinner Solomon, and this is a presentation for ICS 2021 online. I have no affiliations to declare for this presentation. And during today, I will give a brief introduction to bladder neck obstruction, discuss the methods and results of our retrospective study, and summarize with some take home messages. So in literature, bladder neck obstruction is reported to account for about 50% avoiding dysfunction in neurologically normal men under the age of 50. At our tertiary referral centre, from 103 consecutive neurologically normal men diagnosed with avoiding dysfunction following video urodynamics, 41% were determined to have primary bladder neck obstruction. Bladder neck obstruction can be treated with medication in the form of alpha blockers or through surgical intervention via bladder neck incision surgery. So retrograde ejaculation is reported to occur in between 16 to 30% of patients undergoing bladder neck incision. This can lead to patients deferring the procedure until they have completed their family. Because the natural progression of bladder neck obstruction is not well understood, clinicians aren't able to confidently counsel a patient on how untreated bladder outlet obstruction may result in bladder dysfunction and ultimately renal impairment. So bladder outlet obstruction results in bladder dysfunction in three stages. Initially, increased intravesical pressure during voiding results in smooth muscle hypertrophy, leading to tissue hypoxia. Persistent hypoxia then leads to increased pro-fibrotic changes, increasing the amount of collagen compared to smooth muscle. As the amount of collagen increases within the bladder, bladder compliance and voiding function become impaired. This is known as decompensation. So we have collated 12 patients, all who have had two urodynamic studies between 111 and 2,653 days apart, aged between 13 and 47 at initial presentation with the median age being 36 years. The graphs I'm going to present will illustrate the change in neurodynamic parameters of time. The mark on the left showing the value at initial investigation with the mark on the right displaying the value at the subsequent investigation with the x-axis illustrating the days in between the two investigations. This graph shows the change in detrusive overactivity peak pressure with time. Eight of the patients demonstrated detrusive overactivity at initial um, urodynamics investigation, indicating they're already in the compensatory phase. 58% had an increase in peak DO pressure at subsequent investigation. And from the four who didn't demonstrate detrusive overactivity during their initial investigation, two demonstrated to choose overactivity at the subsequent investigation. This graph shows the change in bladder compliance with time and 75% of the patients had a decreased bladder compliance at the subsequent investigation. This indicates an increase in collagen and transition from the compensation to decompensation stage. This graph shows the change in detrusive pressure at maximum flow, or PDET at key max, and there is no clear trend. This likely represents the different stages of bladder outlet obstruction and the different progressions patients have through bladder dysfunction. So, we can summarise that time independently isn't an indicator of bladder dysfunction progression, and confounding factors may include age at initial presentation, the severity of the bladder outlet obstruction at initial presentation, and the different stages of bladder dysfunction at initial presentation. 
So our take home messages are that patients undergoing this watchful wait period should be monitored closely and deterioration in symptoms should be accompanied by a urodynamic investigation so patients can be appropriately managed on their bladder function. These are my references and please enjoy the rest of ICS 2021.